Hello everyone, this is Dr. Savita and uh, in continuation with the discussion on uh, VTU syllabus chemistry, uh, now I am with the video on module 2 corrosion science, corrosion science and metal finishing. In that we have already finished corrosion science and the fundamental parts of uh, uh, metal finishing. All the videos are being uploaded in the um, my intuition YouTube channel, kindly visit the now i am discussing on electroplating and electroless plating in our previous video we have already discussed about the um, uh, i mean uh, basic uh, terminal uh, terminologies that is required for the understanding of uh, metal finishing or electroplating process okay uh, electroplating process uh, it means the plating of the noble uh, plating of a noble metal over over a base metal the base metal can be metal or a polymer, right? Or it is also the conversion of the outermost layer of the metal into its oxide, chromate or phosphate, okay? So that the uh, surface will be converted into the corrosion product, okay? So this is electroplating. Now for the electroplating process, uh, we, uh, we have already discussed, uh, we will be taking the metal uh, to be coated, coated, that is the article as the cathode and from which you have to coat, uh, that is taken as the anode, electrolyte is taken, suitable connections and all the additives are added and then we do the electroplating bath. Okay, we have uh, discussed all this in detail in a previous video, right? And now let us go, to go for an example, electroplating of chromium, right? Now you have an article, you coat it with the chromium, okay? Uh, there are two types of coating uh, uh, in uh, chromium. One is decorative coating and one is hard coating, okay? The two differs only by the thickness of the coating of chromium. If there is a, a, a small thickness or a less uh, thickness of co chromium coating, it is decorative and if it is uh, more, it is hard coating. Okay, so what are the bath composition? Bath composition means what and all you should take, what and all uh, parameters you have to uh, maintain for the coating of chromium over the article, right? Now in everything, we assume that co anode, uh, the chromium has to be taken as the anode and the article has to be taken as cathode. But here, instead of anode, we will be taking insoluble anodes like uh, uh, lead, lead antimony, alloy, like that, okay? why we will understand later next cathode is always the object to be uh, plated in both the uh, coating decorative or hard coating uh, cathode is objected to be uh, plated and then uh, current efficiency is 10 to 15 and here it is a little bit higher then current density is 145 to 430 milliamps per centimeter and it is more it is only the current density current density means the current acting over unit area. Now here, here, here area considered is per centimeter. Okay. If the current density is less, thickness uh, of the coating will be less. Therefore, that is for uh, decorative. If it is more, it is for hard coating. Okay. Temperature, same 45 to ambient temperature is 45 to 55 degrees Celsius. Now the bath composition, what and all you have to take. In the, that is, this is taken as the electrolyte. You have to take a uh, 100 is to 1 ratio of chromic acid to sulfuric acid, okay? And again, uh, by adding 4 grams of oxalic acid, 1 gra gram of chromium 3 plus is produced. So, we should add chromic acid, oxalic acid also, okay? Now, what are the applications? Applications of a thin layer of a chromium is done in automobiles, or surgical instruments, etc., and for hard coating, the thickness will be more and it is used in industrial and engineering applications. Now, thickness in hard coating is 0.25 to 0.75 micrometers and in it is uh, in hard coating, it is higher than that, okay, 2.5 to 300, okay. Now, why chromium cannot be used as anode? Because chromium rod easily gets passivated. Passivated means uh, it after some time, it... Uh, uh, gets uh, covered by its own product therefore it will not undergo further reaction that means further it will not undergo oxidation reaction okay by some methods if that uh, layer uh, the passivated uh, passivation is avoided then the chromium will dissolve so fast that uh, the um, production of chromium 3 plus will be five times higher than that what it is uh, consumed at the cathode okay 
when there is a, a variation in the um, what efficiency of anode and cathode then it will re, uh, lead to uh, some uh, polarization and therefore we cannot take chromium uh, as anode for these reasons chromium is not taken as anode instead lead or lead antimony alloy is taken as anode whereas chromium 3 plus ion is added to the electrolyte because chromium is required for the uh, coating okay next what are the reactions see at the anode uh, water gives oxygen liberates h plus ions and electrons and in the anode in continuation of the anode reaction the chromium 3 plus ion which is present in the uh, solution that is electrolyte reacts with water forms a chromate by liberating uh, electrons and h plus okay let us see what is the oxidation state of chromium here okay oxide is 2 minus it is present three times so it will be minus 6 therefore chromium is plus 6 right therefore from 3 plus to uh, it is being converted from 3 plus to 6 plus that means 3 plus to 6 plus means three more electrons are removed so it is three electrons are removed cathode reaction reduction of chromium 6 to metallic chromium okay this is the product of the anode reaction did this at the cathode region reacts with water uh, and it forms uh, chromic acid and this uh, the oxidation state is not varied here and here also it is plus 6 only this chromium uh, chromic acid uh, from plus 6 uh, say uh, one the oxidation state of one chromium chromium is plus 6 there are two chromium therefore it will be plus 12 so to uh, i mean uh, reduce uh, two chromium two electron 12 electrons are required plus uh, two uh, two 12 plus therefore 12 electrons are required and uh, it gets uh, deposited as chromium okay so this is electroplating of chromium right now there is another process that is electroless plating electroless plating is the deposition of the metal from its salt solution uh, without using electricity okay the requirement is here uh, the electrode surface has to be had to be has to be made catalytically active and uh, the electrons are liberated by using a reducing agent right now in the electroplating process anode is the one which liberates electron and that electron goes to the cathode ions from the electrolyte go near the cathode and accept electron and get deposited right the requirement is on the cathode surface or on the uh, uh, what uh, what articles uh, article surface there is requirement of electrons in electroplating process the electrons are supplied from the anode but in electroless plating since there is no use of electricity there will be a reducing agent which will supply the electrons okay now the electrons which is supplied by the reducing agent should be present only on the uh, surface of the cathode okay and that is why the cathode should be made catalytically active so that the reducing agent goes near the cathode and uh, liberates electrons okay now again the metal ions present in the solution go near the cathode accept the electron and get deposited okay for this there is no requirement of electricity because a reducing agent is giving the um, what uh, electrons okay now uh, this but uh, the substrate or the article surface or the cathode surface should be made catalytically active because the reducing agent should go and liberate electrons only on the cathode surface okay to make the um, cathode surface catalytically active there are two methods one is etching by acids by the use of acids or by treating stan with the stannous chloride and palladium chloride alternatively okay first you have to dip it in the stannous chloride for 10 minutes take it out again dip it in palladium chloride for 10 minutes okay at that time the uh, outermost layer of the substrate becomes catalytically active which can attract the reducing agent and the reducing uh, reducing agent in turn gives the electrons and this electron attracts the metal ions from the solution metal ions go near the surface accept the electron and get deposited okay now what is the advantage of electroplating and electroless plating in electroplating uh, i mean in electroless plating advantages 
okay no electricity power is electrical power is required okay since uh, there it need not be uh, th therefore the article or the substrate need not be a uh, conductor in electroplating we need a conductor only because we have to connect it to uh, cathode terminal here it, since you are not using it there is no requirement of electricity uh, the you can even coat on insulators or semiconductors okay these co uh, coatings uh, have uh, uh, it is better than the electroplating process and they have good uh, mechanical chemical and um, features okay now what is the disadvantage the disadvantage is sometimes while coating uh, the reducing agent uh, or oxidized product also get uh, trapped in the uh, coatings that is one disadvantage and, and the other one is uh, the plating process is costly because we need uh, palladium chloride stannous chloride all these are chemical uh, i mean costly chemicals okay now example of electroless plating of copper okay example is uh, electroless plating of copper for this electroless plating the following bath composition has to be taken okay 12 grams of copper sulfate and then you have to have a reducing agent 8 grams you need to have a buffer to maintain the ph and the buffer used is 15 grams of sodium hydroxide plus 14 grams of rochelle salt complexing agent is also required so that all these buffer i mean complexing agents all these are additives which gives good uh, coating okay the ph maintained is 11 since to maintain this ph the buffer has to be added temperature required is 25 degrees and the reaction is the uh, formaldehyde this is the reducing agent reacts with the hydroxyl ion which is present in the solution liberating the electrons okay this formaldehyde goes near the cathode surface or the article surface liberates the electron and the copper ions copper sulfate we have taken right copper ions are present in the electrolyte they go near the cathode surface or article surface accept the electron and get deposited right this is the reaction of electroless plating of copper okay you have another example Uh, electroless plating of nickel okay in electroless plating of nickel the electrolyte taken uh, taken is nickel chloride okay nickel chloride provides nickel uh, the reducing agent is sodium hydrogen phosphate okay this uh, reducing agent uh, liberates electron the nickel ions present in the electrolyte goes near the cathode accept the electron and get deposited okay the buffer is also required all the temperature required is around 90 to 95 degrees 93 degrees celsius ph is 4.5 you need to maintain a acidic ph okay then uh, the reactions oxidation at oxidation sodium hydrogen phosphate liberates electron goes near the cathode surface liberates electron nickel 2 plus ions which is present in the solution goes near the cathode accepts the nickel and get deposited therefore there is a deposition of nickel over the article without the use of electricity so what are the applications it is used in electronic application domestic application automotive application even nickel coated polymers are used for a decorative process all these are the application of nickel coating okay next uh, what is the difference or comparison between electro and electroless plating okay uh, in electroplating uh, the main driving force is the electricity here autocatalytic redox reaction because electricity is not used next where does the cathode reaction takes place okay the article to be plated here also article to be plated only but only one additional step is there that is the catalytics uh, the article surface has to be made catalytically active okay so that the deposition or the um, what uh, reducing agent liberates electron only on the cathode surface now reactions at the cathode what happens the metal first anode reaction that is uh, it gives in the electroplating process the anode liberates electron electron go to the cathode compartment metal ions from the solution accept the electron get deposited whereas in electroless plating the reducing agent liberates electrons that electron will be accepted by the metal ions this is the net uh, net uh, uh, cell reaction written here okay the metal ions present in the solution accepts the electron get deposited as uh, metal okay this is the anode and the cathode reaction 
Now in uh, uh, what electroplating process, separate anode is taken. Okay, in electroless play, uh, plating, there is no need of anode because reducing agent will be liberating electron. Okay, now a reducing agent in the electroplating process is electrons because electrons will be given by the anode. Whereas in uh, electroless plating, chemical reagent will be giving out the electrons. Nature of the deposit, pure metal or alloy, because here uh, the electron uh, will be uh, pass, give, uh, I mean, flowing through the external circuit, metal ion from the solution goes, accepts and get deposited. There will not be much, poly, uh, I mean, impurities present. Whereas here, since the reducing agent is attracted towards the uh, what article surface, met the uh, coating sometimes traps the reducing agent or the oxidizing product. Okay. Next type of uh, cathode used for plating. Uh, in electroplating, you have to use a conductor only. In electroless plating, you can even coat on metal insulators and semiconductors also. Okay. So next, my next uh, video, I will be discussing on another module. Thank you. Thank you.